you were saying that um, that a lot of the pastors in that region don't really have a lot of understanding, right? A lot of them were just learning from things they heard on the radio or things that they heard on YouTube. And they were, you said they were just writing notes and, and reteaching yeah. those things without having understanding in the scriptures, right? So yeah. when you go in, you're actually helping them to understand, right? And so a lot of them yeah. like it and a lot of them don't like it so don't much, like right? It. So yeah. what happens mm -hmm. when you go and do that? Uh, actually, I have to be honest with you here. Like many pastors here, they became pastors not because they are called or ordained. Like, for instance, they go and uh, they evangelize, like I preach to you, and you accept my preaching and you accept Jesus. Let's say you become born again. And if two or three now agree with the same teaching that I've been teaching them, and automatically you find I'll be putting a shed or even buy land and then build a church and become a pastor without mm -hmm. understanding the details, the, understanding the Bible. Yeah, And so this had caused a lot of problem in the churches we go to. In the city, people tend to know everything. Yeah, but When we go to different villages, you find that people do not know anything. Yeah, Most of them, they will be tuning to the radio station when someone is preaching, like for reason I'm preaching, they'll be picking their book and pen and they begin to record whatever I am preaching. And this thing they carry it to the church. Whether yeah, the one I'm that the one that they false, just made, right? They carry yes, it to the church when, that they just made because they heard the message. Yeah. Yes. Whether I am being, if I, I'm, I'm teaching falsely or not, they don't mind about that. And but they don't even know. You said right. They like don't. Sometimes know. they don't even know because they don't even really know the scriptures. They don't know the scripture, but they will, they will, they can, like, let's say you're talking about like Matthew chapter one, they will make sure they follow you keenly and record what you're teaching. And that is what they're going to teach again in their church. Yeah. And so we go out to teach them mostly the inductive uh, way of studying the Bible. Mm -hmm. We also try to help them to see that uh, they understand how to, to understand the Bible for themselves yeah. before they go and teach the bible to other people yeah and when we help them mostly now we help them into uh, uh preparing bible study lessons for their own believers and also to understand the bible and how to prepare someone for the people they are going to teach mm -hmm. and how to make them understand the bible in the context yeah and mostly we help them to teach the bible chapter by chapter and verse by verse yeah. to make the people understand the Bible. So we get into the moment where we have to teach them the Bible. Yeah. And also, when we talk about in our outreaches to these people, we have also in, before, before we got this book, mm -hmm. we were very much going out to give out the Bibles, mm -hmm. teach these people these other things. Now we got more material. We call this as a material. Yeah. Because it has helped us a lot to reach out to these pastors. Mm -hmm. We have this, we have uh, the, the senior testimony and had a not your heart. Yeah. And also we we, we have, uh, of course, the Bible itself. Yeah. And we also have uh, servanthood. Also yeah. teaching these people to become servants, not right. bosses. Yeah. It's one of the things we do. But now when we talk about um, the, the opening of the end time scriptures revealed, as we were teaching this, so many pastors rose against us. They, and they started like, coming against you, yeah. Thing. Yeah, these people, they are evil. These people, they are false teachers. These people, they are Illuminati. They started that saying that about you, right? I, they started saying that yeah, about that, you and the teaching from the end time book. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, me, Victor, and some other team. So yeah. these people, they, they are devil, they are devil worshippers. They support gay. They are this and that. Don't listen to them. So people were fearing us. Yeah. So we, at first, we had over 1,000 plus these books. Mm -hmm. And before we know it, these people wrote even letters to these churches. Mm -hmm. And they also talked to many of these people who are like inviting us to teach them. Yeah. So these books, some were burnt, some were dropped in, uh, thrown in the trench, some were in water. We found this book, we are scattered, the books were torn in different parts and 
we would when we were moving you could even cry wow so we like, the, the first good? thousand that you were going yeah. around and teaching because the pastors yes. came against them against the teaching mm -hmm. and everything that you were teaching yes. from it connected to the mm -hmm. bible they thought it yes. was all false they they came against you because it was against what they were talking about and so everybody who you had given the book to people were throwing them in the garbage they were burning them they, they were throwing them away. in the ditches yeah. and they threw them away mm -hmm. everywhere wow yeah and 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 actually people they were against this book and we were teaching the bible you see yes. when you're teaching what is in the bible the bible speaks for itself that's right we don't want the bible we don't want to speak for the bible yeah. The Bible speaks for itself. Yeah. We do it like Ezra and Nehemiah did it that time. Mm -hmm. When the people of Israel, they call for the word of God to be read. They ask Ezra and Nehemiah to read for them the word. And when the, Ezra and Nehemiah, they read the word. So the word became so strong for them. Yeah. They were scared and terrified. And God told Ezra and Nehemiah and plus other people who were there. He said, mm -hmm. tell the priest and other people to interpret to these people the meaning of this word. And that's what we, we would do. But now these people turned against us. And when they were fighting so hard, they made people to believe them. Yeah. But me and Victor and uh, a man called Richard, and there's a pastor, a pastor, another one called Rehabia, and my brother who got an accident. Yeah. And, uh, and there's a man is called uh, Marion. Mm -hmm. So we came together, we, like you people, we can't just sit like this and watch things happen and watch the things of God being destroyed. Mm -hmm. And we prayed, God, if it is your will, and if this is what you want us to do, if this teaching is what you want us to take out of these people, and if the Bible is true and you want us to, we prayed. Actually, mm -hmm. we did a three days prayer and fasting mm -hmm. as a talk. People started, these pastors, they called for a meeting. Over 30 of them came together. And they were now calling to apologize to us. All the pastors really that were going against you. All the pastors yes. that were going against that book and Over how it connected 30, the Bible, they all came back exactly. and started saying. After calling us false teachers, they called for a meeting and called us, the seven of us, to go into that meeting. We wanted to boycott the meeting, but we asked the Holy Spirit to lead us. And we accepted to go there. Yeah. And on reaching there, my, and they're like, we are very sorry. You people do forgive us. We promise you we are going to invite all these people to come. And we apologize before them and ask them to listen to you people. Actually, this teaching helped us. And by the way, before that, they started calling us one by one on phone, on cell phone, and mm -hmm. asking, please talk to us. We want to understand this into detail. We are feeling guilty and we are feeling sorry. And we, I, I told them the story of Susie. I told them, did you? I asked them like, you made a decision of this book within one day. Did you read the book? Did you understand the book? And I was like, okay. This, I have a copy of the book in my hand here. I would say the the uh, the back of this book saying the end times revealed like never before. There's the other portion that say the opening of the end time scriptures revealed. Did you understand that word? The opening of the end time scriptures revealed. Did you understand that? Now there's like, oh my, we did not even read that. I was like, first of all, go. Let me screenshot and send you, you read that. And then we can talk about the book itself. Mm -hmm. Because if you did not understand, that is exactly how you're opening the Bible, you open the Bible to say what you want, not what the Bible is saying. Mm -hmm. And now they called for this meeting. They called people. And that is why you see we are not resting. Yeah. Because many people now want more. They want more. Uh, even if we teach them today, they say, yeah. you people, there is this page from this part. There's this one for Cindy. There's this one for the Bible. There's this one. You people, can you people organize and come again? Mm -hmm. We met over 600 people that the group of these 30 pastors organized for us in Hoima district. Wow. We went in Hoima. The pastor, before going, one pastor, he also called himself a bishop, called there, said, you don't, you don't need to welcome these people. People. These people are evil. 
But you know what? People will say, we want to listen from these evil people first. Mm -hmm. wow. And the day we started our conference, few people came. Over 170 came. Yeah. When we finished teaching and talking to these people, uh, Victor talked about, uh, we talked about chapter five of this book. Chapter five. When he talked about uh, this chapter five, I talked about chapter three. Mm -hmm. When we talked about this book, chapter five and chapter three, the following day, there was no space, no room left for anyone wow. to sit because these hundred plus went back and was like, you people, you're missing a lot. And they went talking about some of these things. Even the pastors who came there, they're like, this is so new. We were supposed to spend only two days. Mm -hmm. We had to take three days. Wow. We had wow. to take three days in Hoima. Uh, and and there is a, there is one person from from uh from Ministry Revealed is the one he sent about one thousand dollar that had cut her for that had helped to cut her for the food. I even don't know that person oh, still. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know because sometimes the, the world remit will bring the name and sometimes doesn't bring the name. Yeah. And I checked, I found they sent, and that was the time people saw the miracle because pastors go and take money from them. Oh. But we went and took the word to them. So the pastors who are calling them not to welcome us, they knew that we are going to talk about servanthood as well. Yeah. And in our servanthood, we talked about not, not using the power and the authority to rule. Yeah. We talk about using the power and the authority to serve. Mm -hmm. And people picked interest in all this and these pastors were calling, please don't listen, please. Because they knew that after our teaching, people are not the same. Mm -hmm. right. And that is why in Paida Town alone, different churches that they have organized. Now, the problem is one. These people are living from hand to mouth. That's right. They cannot afford to buy the Bible for themselves. Yeah. We would have even opted to sell this book. But now who is going to buy? That's right. Someone doesn't want to buy a Bible because they know they cannot raise money to the action of buying the Bible. That's right. And so we 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 ought to give out the Bible yeah. so that at least some people will understand God. Yeah. And if God opened doors, we distribute the Bible. So I'm yeah. sure in the next, in the last uh, few years, I met Ministry Revealed. I think I'm now making a year. A year almost, yeah, yeah. Since I met Ministry Reveal, I think we have given close to 5,000 Bibles now. Wow. Close to 5,000. And we have given this book close to 4,000, also almost making 5,000. Yeah. Wow. And, 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 and Cindy books came in also shortly, but it is clocking to 2,000 plus. That's Why? Right. People want to know more. People want to understand God. That's right. Now, and the they're not being charged for it. That's, that's the whole point too, right? I mean, that's why we yeah. support you, not because of the Ministry Revealed book, but because of what you're doing in the outreaches and reaching people. And the Ministry Revealed book is simply an addition to help an, people understand what the Bible yes. is saying more clearly and to help prepare yeah. them to be ready for the time of the end. So it all works together, but we don't charge anybody for it we send you the no. support and we do what we can to raise the support so that we can send it to you so that books are printed, whether uh, so mm -hmm. that Bibles are bought, so that books are printed, the ministry revealed one and the Cindy one for the testimony, um, the, the children printouts, the traveling, yes. the, the food mm -hmm. that's needed so that when people show mm -hmm. up, they're not thinking, oh my goodness, I hope I can bring a few dollars to pay for food or I, I can bring a few dollars to maybe buy a book or a Bible. No. The other ones are charging. We don't charge. We're doing everything Not we can to coin. make everything always free. And mm. we just want to help you be able to get out there more and more and more. And um, yeah. sometimes we're not, we're not uh, always able to provide everything that's needed. Um, but mm. you know, we continue to push and we will continue to do everything we can to, to help support it because 
clearly we can see what you're doing. I mean, you send us pictures, you send us videos, like you were just saying, you know, those pastors who had rebuked you had now 30 mm -hmm. of them come back and say, we want you to come. We want you to teach us. We want you to give us that understanding from the book. We want you to show us more of this understanding and salvation and servanthood. And you come and there's 150 people. And then after the day, and you're teaching with the understanding, with the scriptures from the book and salvation, and now it grows and grows. And you ended up with what, 600 people over the over the three yeah. days or something yeah. like that? And, yes, yes. And now what happens? They're calling you, as they have been now for several weeks, right? Now these pastors mm -hmm. are calling you to come everywhere, and you've got like nine bookings to try to go out. And yeah. before, they were shunning you. They were throwing the Ministry Revealed books away. They were burning them throwing them in the garbage and now people are calling you and saying help us understand with scripture what this is revealing mm -hmm. to us and uh man now look at you right now you're saying you're they're calling you all the time and your book to go here and you're saying so right now you're you're what about three weekends uh a month yes. right yeah so you leave one yes, for yourself yes. but now three weekends yeah. where you're gone two, maybe three days with travel there and back with the team. Mm. And you're saying mm. there's about uh, between 10 of, and 12 of you that go preaching on servanthood, 12, 12. 12 of you. Yeah. Mm. Preaching that on servanthood, mm. preaching on salvation, um, preaching on mm. the end time Sunday revealed, school. which, which yeah. Victor mm. focuses on and, and you as well. And mm. there's all the travel to get there. There's the staying mm. there. There's the bills at home while you guys are doing it. Um, man, it's incredible, yeah. incredible to see. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of it and for that ministry revealed as a whole. And those who are supporting can be a part of it too, because my goodness, mm. God is good. One brother. amazing thing. Yeah. One amazing thing is that, uh, uh, it is not now as writing letters that we are coming. It's yeah. actually the pastors who had first denied are the one now organizing be yeah. because they, they, they know the benefit of this. They understand it now yeah. much more. And they're like, hey, take this. Now, we feel so sorry that uh, we can't honor all the invitation because, you know, yeah. sometimes, like, you know, financial stand becomes so poor. We have manpower, yeah. but uh, the financial stand is very poor. And yeah. that that is why uh, I was discussing... Uh, with the friend you see we, we also see we look at it like it's getting too heavy um today as i talk i uh, we had planted over seven acres of cassava and sim sim and corn yeah but as i talk the rain today today also the remaining one the rain washed the garden is awashed on that land that you were able to purchase and the, the seven acres you guys started planting it all so people can feed themselves plant yes, and yes. feed and provide mm. for their families now that yeah. land because of rain today, just washed today. out that crop oh uh, today today from that farm there yeah uh, the person who is working for us they are called and uh, the rain had washed the sim sim the rain had washed the the remaining cassava it had washed actually the garden is just a mess so uh -huh. that's that's what we got today it's about seven acres now uh we are left with only two acres of cassava which is still now in another place, not in the same area, but where we planted all those stuff, the rain washed them all. At first, it was the sunshine that had burnt the corns and uh, other things and yeah. the beans. But later, when the rain, there was some drop, we then we replanted. Yeah. Now, as they talk again, today, 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 and from morning up to, um, from about 10 up to 2, so the rain came with a hailstone and destroyed everything. Uh, so again, we are, we don't know if we are to start again. That is how sometimes uh, my family also live. But I had a business before. I used to sell clothes okay. and shoes. Yeah. So uh, this time around, when it was during the COVID-19, yeah. we had an attack by some unknown robbers. So these people came and they chlor chloroformed our house. Um, all of us, we just became drunk and slept off. They took everything. Yeah. Truth be told that God has blessed me before. I had something um, with the help of even Brian. Yeah. Brian had helped me 
Also, yeah, Brian introduced me... you to Ministry Revealed. That's right. Yes, yes. So he gave me some little help, and uh, I, I managed to, to run some business. Mm -hmm. that, and that's how I used to go out to even give food to the vulnerables, meet the street kids, and uh, uh, buy Bibles, because I had some small business I was running, plus the, the garden thing. But yeah. time came, when thieves came and attacked, they took almost all the money which we had, and um, including my phone, including everything. He's the one who, who gave me some money to buy the phone. Yeah. By that time. And and I lost almost everything. Almost everything. And by then my wife has just given back. Uh, and and the president announced the lockdown. We suffered anyway a lot, but God was still with us. Yeah. And so in that uh, things became so hard to, to run the ministry. And there's a man who is called uh, he, his name was Joe Cole. Joe Cole was the person who would be sponsoring my radio program and some other outreaches, even big crusades and seminars. Yeah. So this time around, just abrupt like that, she was pronounced dead of cancer. So it uh, became so hard to run the ministry. So I had to be running ministry like, you know, sometimes I have to go. Uh, there was a time when I also joined the ministry reveal, when I went and I got an accident carrying the Bible, I was taken yes. to Western part of Uganda. I'm telling you, that was my worst moment. My leg was really in pain and people are waiting and I had to go and teach while sitting down. Oh few yeah. days ago when I was poisoned. Yeah. Few weeks ago. There's a I don't know, is it Ima? Something like that. God spoke through that woman and posted a prayer on uh, oh I'm on, on the revealed. forum in ministry revealed. That is what saved my life. That is what saved my life. Ah, oh, so in the that recent one, you were poisoned, and yes, in that in the ministry revealed forum, Ima had posted that prayer, and that's what yes. saved your life. Wow, that was it. I was actually in the room dying alone. My wife even didn't know, mm -hmm. and I could not even do anything. I could not move. I could not nothing at all. Yeah, And I just lost everything and I fainted and I cannot even move and touch my phone. Yeah. But I kept on also praying that God let your will be done. Yeah, And after four good hours, that's when I saw a message. She sent me and she posted when my hand landed on the phone. The first message I saw was that. And secondly, I had a dial, on a, a, a dial call for my wife. Mm -hmm. And that was the time she came and picked me up and I was rushed to the hospital. Even when she was posting those prayer, I was being rushed to the hospital. Yeah. And that's when we, we in the prayer, we discover how attack was on me and Victor. Yeah. Yeah, attack was seriously, and Victor's child was dying there and I was dying here. Wow. And in that very same week, Victor got accident three times. He was knocking people with the bike and things were happening. And remember, the following week, we have a program in Congo. Yeah. All those attack was so that we don't go. That's right. So that we don't go and teach the word of God. And let me tell you, the attack was not coming from even the non-believers. It was yeah. coming actually from the pastors. That's right. And that is how they started apologizing again to us. Wow. We should pray for them that, that God should take away the evil from their heart. That's right. And so we, we are doing so many things by the will of God and the help of God. If not God, right now, we would be saying, no, I surrender. But I'm telling you, That's right. since God is with us, we will continue. We are looking for how God can put for us something that we could put some small, small business. If sometimes things fail, we can say, okay, we have something here and yeah. we can go. Yeah, yeah, like that's, so that's we kind of what we're looking for, right? Like we, we, our ministry is small and, um, mm. you know, it's significant, but it's still small and, and it really has down moments and it has up moments. And so there's not a consistent ability to send you everything that's needed every month, unfortunately. Um, but the, the idea that was brought to me too by Ziv uh, and some other brothers and sisters is that you know if there was some sort of business something we can help you 
uh, to start up as you've done in the past, that if you were running that and it was providing some of the needs, then the times when enough support doesn't come in through Ministry Revealed, you have your, your business that's providing some income to maybe help with the family's bills and, and the ministry's bills there in Uganda and you know maybe provide with travel and things like that so that what we're not able to provide enough of you're able to maybe help with your business yeah and so yeah, what what me, kind of thing are you true. thinking about what kind of business now this is what uh, uh, i was looking at um i was also looking at that ministry reveal has done a lot I have to be very honest. Mm -hmm. There will reach a point that this ministry, this outreach of gospel networking was almost coming to an hold mm -hmm. with the persecution, with a difficulty financially, yeah. other things. Now, at some point, even now, I remain, me and my only brothers, to run up and down. Yeah. Because they would say, brother, I have this money, let us go. If you don't have transport, I have this, but for food, I can't pay. Now, when things also became worse on themselves, so I, I was just like in the middle of the storm. So to me, I I was looking at having, since uh, there is a man called Jeremiah, mm -hmm. we we always print our book. I mean, we, we bring our book in his in his shop yeah. as a store. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a store where there's oh, Bible. Yeah, I've seen I mean, some of the pictures, right? You put some on the shelves there. Yes. Yeah. So that is where he store. So Jeremiah was selling his shop to us. He wanted to sell the shop to me. Oh okay. but now of course I told him I cannot afford. Yeah. So he was like that shop he he started it with four thousand US dollar. Okay. So he wanted me to give him six thousand i told him me i don't have i even don't have even one thousand so yeah it's hard for me to so he told me if i have money he is ready to give out the shop to me and uh sitting with him all the time i see people come and buy and uh, at the end of it all because he also has a worker so the person working for him is able to pay him and yeah. is able to raise some money so uh, I was seeing if we can reduce our outreaches like in a month to be like twice. And then if Ministry Ville is okay to uh, put for us a business and we'll be able to uh, pay for transport yeah, and also pay for the venue where yeah. we are going. Or we can talk to these pastors now. We cannot afford venue anymore. Maybe yeah. we can, maybe... Uh, maybe we can be paying some little for some churches because people are very complicated here. Yeah. We pay, most of the churches are, are rented. They rent a church, they pray, okay. they have to pay for it. So we, yeah. that's why we pay for most of these venues we go to. I see, okay. And we, we I would suggest like, if we put, at, at first I thought 3,000 US dollar can, can help. Yeah. But when we go down, we find like paying rent, renting the shop alone might take even a thousand. Yeah. And uh, some other thing like taxes, some some licenses might even take up to 1,500. Yeah. So we were looking at five five thousand five hundred US dollar or six thousand can put something small that yeah. we can be running and we'll, we can only maybe ask for Bibles and printing of the books from uh, maybe if need okay. comes. I from, see what you're from, saying. Yeah. So what yeah. what you're hoping to do is right now you're doing three outreaches a month on on weekends two or three days or so uh, with travel yeah. and that's costing though about five thousand dollars U S a month right with with everybody's travel and food and venue yeah that it's takes costing, a lot of money yeah yeah that's a and, lot of money and with yeah, the Bible with the book and, yeah with yeah. the Bible and with the books and and the travel and the food and the venue. It's about five thousand US a month for the twelve of you and for everybody to get the mission and do what they're supposed to do. So to do mm -hmm. that is about five thousand US a month, which Canadian is mm -hmm. what I send. And so mm -hmm. that works out to, you know, about seven thousand, you know, close to sixty five hundred, seven thousand Canadian a month. And mm -hmm. <laughs> our small ministry, we we can't provide that much in a month. There's moments, mm -hmm. there's a month here or a month there when we can send more. 
but in a typical month, we can't send that consistently. So what you're mm -hmm. looking for is if we're able to provide 6,000 US dollars um, mm -hmm. so that you can purchase his business and in purchasing mm -hmm. that business, you already know through his books that it will provide the income needed so that mm -hmm. you can you can sell ministry revealed books in there because it's a store you'll sell the other products but he also has an employee in there where mm. the income that comes from it after the bills after the employees after all of that you'll be able to take care of travel maybe pay for a venue um yeah. excuse me food and and things like that to go to these outreaches but you're thinking maybe you'll have to drop mm. it down to two outreaches a month at least for the next little bit mm. instead of three because of running this business mm. but maybe once you get better at running it and you know the employee's good you might be able to go back to three but for sure at least maintain those two and that what you would mm. then be looking at in the support that hopefully we can keep consistent and and increase from ministry revealed mm. would pay for the bibles would pay for the ministry revealed books and would pay for mm. the Cindy testimony Cindy and and mm. little other things along the way. Because as mm. you're continuing to grow that the ministry, and as you're continuing to get calls to go out more, you're going to need more Bible still. You're going to need more books. You're going to need more of the Cindy's and so forth. Um, hopefully, <laughs> our ministry will continue to grow in that same kind of pace where we can always continue to increase to provide for those needs as they go, but knowing mm. in front, knowing beforehand where it is now, we're not able to support all of the needs that are need that are necessary at this moment. So by mm. maybe doing a raising <laughs> to be able to get you that business that you know does well, that if we can raise the money to support that, that will take you to the point that you need to, to, to cover your family's bills, the, those throughout the ministry, and then we can provide the books, the support, the, all of the rest. I think, that's a, I think that's a great idea. I'm glad you had that thought. And I'm actually really happy that, um, that you already have the experience. You know, it's one thing for somebody to go and maybe buy a business for 6,000 US, but not know how to run it. You have the experience. You've already run one before. You've already had some success until it was destroyed and taken from you. So this one, knowing you know what to do, knowing it's already successful, knowing he's already had it for years and you're just coming to take it over. And then we bring in the rest of the support like we've been doing and hopefully can continue to increase it. I think it's wonderful. And <clears throat> excuse me. And I think, I think the evidence of our of our uh, um, ministry, of our teaming together as we do with your ministry and ministry revealed and working this together is evidenced by what the Lord has revealed to you as well. And as you've told us here earlier, that, you know, mm. not being sure, you know, should we trust what we're understanding in this ministry revealed book, according to what he's saying, the scripture is telling us about it. You know, mm. you have all of these attacks and it brings everything into question for you about it because you're seeing them burnt and thrown away. And now you then pray about it and the team of you prays over it and bang, they come back and apologize and and want you to come and want to tell everybody, listen to these people. We, we ask for your forgiveness. I mean, my goodness, even right after you've prayed for it, you guys fasted and prayed over it. And the response was immediate with 30 pastors coming back to apologize and saying, come and teach us. Man, we put all of that package together and help you provide for the needs of the ministry and your families. And we help support the rest. I think that is that that's a recipe made in heaven. It's spirit led. It's it's helped. It's it's everything it's it's all there together and um i'm looking forward to it brother i think that's fantastic i'll be sharing this in the forum i'll be sharing this uh on facebook and in uh in the next uh, uh, um uh video 
I'll talk on this and I'll share some of this. And I think um, what we'll do is I'll post this as a video for others to see as well uh, on Ministry Revealed. So I'll put that up in the next couple of days or so as well. Fantastic. Thank you. I, I'm I also, so grateful, yeah. brother. Today, today I also want to say thank you to the Ministry Revealed. And uh, we managed to give out uh, uh, to 10 churches. And uh, each church, we gave them two King James uh, study Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we, we gave two each. And um, as I talk, uh, the team from the other sides of Paida, the one who handled that, mm -hmm. and also we are left with only four Bibles because uh, uh, one person from Revealed paid for, for 10. Mm -hmm. And also we, me and Victor, we had some little money. We added on to it to make it at least 20, 24 uh, Bible, Bibles. Yeah. So we, we managed to give uh, these uh, 10 uh, churches, they sent in their representative, we managed to give two to each, and that is our greatest joy that at least these people are having the Bibles, and also other people as well, as okay. they're calling for for the Bible, so we we, we, we know, we, are, we know that people You're doing the study right Bible thing, yeah. can mislead, yeah, yeah. but uh, it's okay for reference for these people to learn, we yeah. wanted to get this, and when opportunity came, we wanted to grab it, and we still uh, we are left with still 100, uh, yeah, supposed to be 144 Bibles to, mm -hmm. to for us to buy. That we still, that, that are still say, needed for, to get out for this, yeah, okay. Yes, yes, because even like the team from this side of Kampala, the team from the eastern part, from the west, and also from the northern part of it, we, we decided to be giving them like 20, 20 Bibles from these different regions. Yeah. At least if these churches could get two, two Bibles, to me, it will be a very good thing if the assistant has the Bible and the yeah. senior pastor has the study Bible plus the other Bibles we are giving them. I'm telling you, that is really going to help us a lot. That's right. And um, I want to say really thank you in a special way. I want to thank everyone in the ministry revealed. Those who have become my friends and those who have become even prayer partners to me, my mentors. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you people, you are, you are a blessing to me and the team. And... Um, uh, it's not a one-man thing, no. you know, since God has called all of us, our work is to to do what he wants us to do, and not my will, I always say God, That's right. sometimes I don't know what God does to me, I want right. to be very sincere, I am not educated, mm -hmm. I am not, I, my, my, I have a stepdad who calls me now a son who loves mm -hmm. me so much, mm -hmm. but in 1998, I was kicked out of a home, I became a street boy mm -hmm. as a street kid. But as a street kid, I lived a life not of a street kid. Mm -hmm. I was sleeping outside, eating from the garbage, but still God was with me. Mm -hmm. And God gave me the grace to be preaching even to the children in the street. Wow. Some died, some survived and are born again. Mm -hmm. Some are also leaders in churches. Wow. And I would still be, I'll, I'll be coming from the street I would borrow clothes. Maybe sometimes I hire clothes to put on to go to church. Mm -hmm. But nobody in the church knew that I'm a street kid. Wow. Nobody in the church knew that I live in the street. But when I make sure on a Sunday, there's a stream we used to go and bathe in. Mm -hmm. I make sure I go and clean up myself, hire the clothes, maybe for some few cents, put on well. And I used to be the interpreter in the church. They preach in English and I translate in the local language. By the uh... grace of God. Yeah. Not because of going to school. Yeah, I learned my English not because I went to school. My English is not so good. It's but very good. I, <laughs> I bought, I bought uh, uh, the local language Bible, because from the street sometimes I would struggle hard to buy the Bible. Mm -hmm. I bought the, I bought a, a King James Bible. I bought um, the Amplified Bible. I bought uh, my local language Bible. Mm -hmm. so some other bibles people will give me the bible so I, sometimes from church i would say pastor can i use your bible for this week i'll give it to you and maybe on thursday mm -hmm. so i'll be sparing time to go and read this bible and the only thing i would carry every day in my black polythene bag is my bible ah. so i'll read the local language i'll read the english version like king james i'll read the new king james i'll read this and that's how I started learning my English. Wow. I keep learning my English like that. And every day 
I learned English from the Bible. I wow. learned, I talked to my children, talk to me, and uh, they are very good in English because they watch cartoon all the time. Yeah. And they're learning so much. So by the grace of God, and that's how I uh, I speak English. And I wow. speak most of my English uh, when I'm teaching the Bible. I believe okay. that is the only time I'm accurate in my English. Mm -hmm. And other, other like maybe talking on some other things, I, I stammer a lot. Okay. Yeah. But when I'm teaching, I don't know how it happens always. And also when I'm interpreting, even someone who's speaking English, I don't know how it happened, but God yeah. does them. Because you so, learned all so, your English from the Bible, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the street life became a lesson for me. Mm -hmm. Then after four, four to five years in the street, um, my stepfather called me back home. Ah. And was like, I'm sorry for all that has happened. He brought me home and showed me love as wow. a son. And now as a talk, it takes me as a son. I lost my father when I was three days. Oh. And uh, I grew up not knowing who is my father. Yeah. I don't know father's love. Not mm -hmm. until I started loving my children that I started feeling this is how fathers are supposed to love. Yeah. And I don't know the people of my father because my mother was like, when they were going to my father's place, um, in uh, 1985, we, they were attacked by rebels. So oh. my father entered the ambush and they were killed. My grandfather and my grandmother and my uncles and my aunties, for them, they were slaughtered, like they massacred them. Now, because for her, she was just giving birth. They could not do anything because now she was helpless. So it yeah. is the rebels and also... The government soldiers who are now helping her. They will pick her and leave her here. Another person will get her. Instead of killing her, they were just with the baby me. And so that's how I also survived. And that's why I think my life is dedicated to God. That's right. Yeah, and it's evidence through the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was preaching in Congo. Sometimes you're in Congo. They are pulling your clothes. They are beating you. They are doing everything. Wow. But you still keep shouting. At some point now, you see these people surrendering and coming to kneel and accept Jesus Christ. That's the life I've been in. I planted churches. The churches I planted, sometimes the government will come and they'll break it. Yeah. But still, I'll just go and talk to them and preach to them. And the very people who break it are the very people who say, let's help and erect this church back. <laughs> yeah, so they, they, they would do that. And uh, now... The people who sent me as a missionary, I didn't know their motive was to make money. So I decided to quit being a missionary uh, yeah. uh, in, in that ministry. So I came out and all I did is that God told me, I want you to be visiting people, go and preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. And I go, I don't just go. To be very sincere, I don't just go for ministry. I don't just go. Yeah. If God didn't lead me to go, I don't go. Yeah. Yeah, I don't go. Even like before, when you when you told me we are going to talk, I got like about seven calls uh, <laughs> coming from two people that are saying, please, please. Now people are calling me pastor, but I don't want to be a pastor. <laughs> Many people call me a pastor. Yeah. But now, I don't know, maybe because of the work, but I believe I love being a servant. I love yeah. serving because yeah. title of pastors and other things that made many people exactly. to, to really take advantage of God. Exactly. Yeah. So the church in Uganda has become a workshop where people like a shop where people make money from. And yeah. that's the thing we want to we want to take out from the church. That's right. And we are going to these places. Now many people have changed their mentality has changed to the right thing now. Mm -hmm. And they call me people call me saying, you know, thank you for doing all these things. Remember, we have finished a three days conference on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. This week was another one. It was another one. And we got over like 17 who came to salvation. Wow. Even some pastors coming to kneel, you no, know, they say, I want to receive Jesus again. I want to renew my salvation. Mm -hmm. It was a shocking thing to people like me. Yeah. Wow. And and one pastor testified. The very that ones that had thrown you out. Yeah. 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 One pastor testified that for him he was not born again. For him, for he just loved to serve, to, yeah. to preach. And yeah. so when you, we prayed for him. That was the time I was like, God, you're doing something. That's but I right. want to say, Ministry Reveal, no matter what people say, 
You know, whatever people say is noise. That's right. But what God speaks is a reality. That's right. When I talk about you, it's a good thing. You know, the more people are talking about ministry reveal, but is the more people want to know about ministry revealed. And that's how we, people get to know about gospel networking and ministry, ministry revealed in Uganda. Yeah. They were talking ill, evil. They were fighting. The more they fight, the more people want to know who yeah. are these people that they are fighting. Yeah. Who are these people? And that's how we kept going. Yeah. And it's working. I want to say thanks again. God should bless everyone and God should favor everybody. And I pray for protection all the time for the ministry reveal. And I also want to say to you, Elaine, I don't know. I don't know even how to call you. Maybe brother, maybe pastor. No, I don't know. I really don't know. Brother is good. Yeah, like you said, right? I'm not a pastor either. I'm just a teacher. Because I I feel there's this there's a lot more to what you have, you and your team. I call it you and your team has offered to us. First of all, the people I work with, they have learned a lot. Mm-hmm. Every day, my, my, like Victor, Victor will follow uh, your YouTube all the time. He mm-hmm. will say, he will even call me, man, is he again coming or when are they going to do it? <laughs> I want to be there. For he comes and keep quiet there. Yeah. That is his way. So to me, me and my family, I want to say thank you to everyone. Yeah, I know some people have their different way of understanding things. Mm-hmm. I still want to say, may God help us all. Because if we are not doing that, many people are perishing. That's right. Because we have talked about a lot of things about the, the earthly things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know the Bible is about us. Mm-hmm. The ways of men to change. Yeah. But if yeah. a man is not changing, that means the word is going back frustrated. Yeah. I just... I just feel, I pray, I pray that you people could be coming this way as well. My yeah. special thing is that uh, if you people, not not only you, not only one, not only two, not only three, if most of you would come to Uganda, I'm mm-hmm. telling you, this will be, even new people, you, you go back when you've learned a lot. Yeah. As people will be learning a lot from you, and I'm sure you will also go back learning a lot. Absolutely, for, absolutely. For us, we can teach one person. We don't care whether two or three comes. It's enough for us to teach. Yeah. Provided someone, some people avail themselves, yeah, they do it. But I really okay. want to say thank you so very much. Oh, I appreciate it, brother. And I, I, I'm grateful to be a part of it with you. And I know many here, if all here in the ministry, um, are just it's it's a blessing, you know, to to know that you know being able to go i mean we have people in the ministry here that do go and do outreaches that do go to the streets and and reach out to people um but nothing like what can happen in uganda i mean you know the fact that they don't have bibles and that even pastors don't even really know what they're teaching because some of them don't even have bibles and you know to be able to to see that and and the violence that you have to endure and the witchcraft that you have to endure um, to to be able to get that message out and to be able to get the truth out um, is something that very 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 few of us out over here, anyways, have to experience. And uh, man, it, it's we're just <laughs> grateful to be able to to help you to be able to to help give provisions to make that happen to to really reach them and with the Bibles number one and with what you're preaching from the Bible, and then the Ministry Revealed book as a side note to help give them the understanding of it. And because we are so close to the end, this preparation that that will get them ready, that will keep them ready, that will keep them seeking him themselves. And you know that that's all we want to do. And, and to be able to do what we do here and to help make that happen more uh, in what you're doing, Man, if you had asked me six years ago <laughs> mm-hmm. if if I would have seen anything and been a part of anything like this, I would have told mm-hmm. whoever said that, you're crazy. I don't even read the Bible. I, I barely made a couple of notes, you know, and a few mm-hmm. years later, God's will be done and look at where we are, you know. Um, I wouldn't yeah. change a thing. I wouldn't change a single thing except that I would love to to have had more people and receive it. And to to take the time as you have, as your team has, 
because we know as we do here in this ministry and as you've experienced when they take the time to to mm -hmm. to seek that understanding everything changes everything starts to open up and we get so much more clarity and uh brother i'm i'm grateful i'm grateful for it all the lord the the spirit is leading and his word is being revealed the the it, it, I, I don't even know what more we can say except you know that that mm -hmm. he continues to bless and guide us and lead us in all of it and and opens the eyes and ears and the hearts uh that more will receive him and draw closer to him in his understanding it's it's a blessing brother and mm -hmm. i'm i'm honored and i'm grateful um and we will continue no matter how little or how much comes in um you know we end up in the same boat right i mean we mm -hmm. we we don't have any money in savings you know we used to have a little bit of money backup but we don't even have that anymore um because you know mm -hmm. whenever there is some extra we'll send what we can to you because we know the need and so hopefully mm -hmm. we can raise this money so that you can buy that business and uh, maybe maybe we'll have one or two uh brothers or sisters who have an abundant ability and just bang say here it is um you know it it would be awesome because this is exactly what I believe is needed, something to help you support your needs. And then what we send is the ability to support the rest. And uh, mm -hmm. I think I think it's fantastic. I think it'll be a blessing and it'll reach many, mm -hmm. many more people with without the fear of how do we pay bills? You know what I mean? How, mm -hmm. how, oh, man, I got to pay a bill. I got, oh, do you have a couple hundred? Can you help this? You know, this would really, really make a difference. So yeah, it's true. I'm looking forward to it and uh, we'll continue to push and to, and to get that money raised. And uh, I pray that God willing, it'll be done speedily and uh, we'll get it to you as soon as it comes in. Actually, we'll continue to get it to you as it comes in. So, mm -hmm. um, so that there's no delay. Um, awesome, brother. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Uh, I'm grateful for it all and grateful for you and for all of your team. Uh, for the work mm -hmm. that uh, they all do and for for the for the blessings of, of the good pricing that they give us, the really good pricing on the books so that uh, we mm -hmm. can get more printed and more done and the materials. Um, mm -hmm. It's I'm grateful for all of it, every single part and piece. And God willing, if if I'm ever able to uh, come out to Uganda or somebody's able to go out. Uh, but in speaking for myself, remember, if I'm ever able to go out uh I would absolutely get out there and spend uh, probably at least a couple of weeks and just mm. hit all of those churches that are, that are, that are looking forward to you going. And um, mm. that, I remember the, the, the one that really expressed, he wanted me to go to his church first. Um, I would love mm -hmm. to, but you know, uh, we'll see what the Lord has planned. And uh, if it be his will, I'll go out there. I have no fear of going out there. Um, I'll, I'll go wherever you go. Um, it's just the ability to get there, right? So we'll see how all that plays out. And before that happens, mm -hmm. the most important thing is giving a is giving a, a more solid foundation to allow you to go out with more strength. And uh, so that's what we'll do. Awesome. That's, that's that's very good. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, we'll be traveling on Thursday. We, okay. we had some little challenge with our transport and. Um, we are, uh, I was about to tell you that uh, we will use part of that money and uh, uh, buy some, I uh, mean, pay for some few more Bibles yeah. and possibly we might use some of the money for uh, our transport to go to Paida Town because uh, we will be reach, we will be leaving on Thursday. We'll be leaving on Thursday mm -hmm. and uh, we'll reach there on Friday. Friday we have a program. We they have uh, organized a night prayer so okay. we'll be having different churches coming together in the night time. Mm -hmm. So it will start from nine up to mid uh, up to six a.m. in the morning. Oh wow! So the th the three of us I will teach. Victor will teach. There's a man called Marion will teach, and um, also we invited some key pastors, like two or three pastors from there. Also, mm -hmm. on on Saturday we'll start our program in the morning, but. Uh, and the other big occasion will start from midday up to eight. And then uh, from eight, um, eight thirty or nine, that's when again we'll board the bus and travel back. 
uh, yeah. but uh, we were looking forward. We wanted to uh, to to use a, a a private means because the bus sometimes you see the stopping and uh, sometimes yeah. you find a mechanical problem. We we failed to raise that money because they needed about six hundred dollars for us to pay for okay. the three days for yeah. the two days. So we could not afford anything like that. So yeah, we we also told the other man for the Bible. Uh, if he's willing, he can keep for us uh, the Bible. Or we will pay the we will pay later, maybe after the program. So he's yeah. going to get back to me tomorrow to tell me about that. But uh, on Thursday, we'll be leaving uh, with some team. Sometimes mm -hmm. this is what we do. We don't mind about us too much. For the past two conferences we had, we yeah. were not. We we would enter into prayer and fasting. We just say, okay, let's dedicate these two days. Let's only make the participant to eat. Yeah. And the team will say, yes, we agree. Yeah. And then we allow, we just come and eat from home. Yeah. <laughs> we just finish all the programs. At least we take some snacks to help us to be strong to get home. Yeah. So that, that's the sacrifice that the team is having. I'm really, that's, yeah. I, I'm blessed with that team. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's it. And I have to say thank you once again. Yeah. And it's... God bless your family. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, it's um, you know, in in when it when it comes to those what the support when we send it, you know, there was a, there was a portion sent today, and you know, whenever it's sent, I I trust you. I trust what you're doing with mm. it. I trust your purpose with it. I know your heart. I I see what you're doing. You you send videos. You share pictures. Um. So so mm. I trust what you're doing with it. I'm not I'm not concerned if you say, well, I feel I need to put some here or some there. I trust you. And um, so I have no issue. So um, don't don't ever feel you have to justify to me. Well, I put this here and I put that there. Um, I know you're you're putting it where it's needed. I know when you know venues or books or Bibles or travel, it needs to be done. I I know you're doing mm. it where it needs to be done. So uh, so don't ever feel you have to justify it. I, I do trust uh, exactly how you how you yeah. deem it needs to be distributed. So so with that, brother. Thank you. God bless mm. you. God bless your family. Thank God you. bless the team always. May they always mm. watch over you, guide you, lead you, and protect you. And mm. bring many, many, many more to Christ through all that you guys are doing and make the provisions mm. necessary. Um, brother, mm. I can't wait to meet you. Whether whether it's here in this life in the coming months or whether it's in the is to come, um, I can't wait, brother. I'm, I'm grateful and uh, look mm. forward to meeting you all then. So with that, God bless Amen. you, your family again, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Mm. Bye for now.